When Kings Island opened its gates in 1972, it featured three roller coasters. First of all was Scooby-Doo, a PTC family wooden coaster which has been renamed a few times and now resides as Woodstock Express. Then you had Bavarian Beetle, another family coaster, but this time it was steel. And then their marquee attraction, the Racer. This was a large, thrilling PTC wooden coaster. And many people seem to love this coaster for many, many years until it recently started getting very rough, and with people's tolerance for rough rides getting lower and lower, this coaster's popularity has started to dwindle, with it never receiving more than 15-minute lines. Now that this roller coaster has been operating for almost 50 years, 48 in fact, something needs to be done about it. Will they get GCI or Gravity Group to fully retract the coaster and maybe give it new trains, or will they do what me, as well as many other enthusiasts hope for, get RMC to fully redo it with their iBox track and turn it into an amazing hybrid. Now, I do not hate the racer by any means. I think that it is a fun, classic, and somewhat airtime-filled ride. However, I agree that it is getting a little bit too rough for my liking, and I would not be all that upset if Kings Island announced that it would be getting the RMC treatment in the coming years. However, that is just my opinion. Let's take a realistic look into whether Kings Island will RMC the racer. Back in 2015, Six Flags hired RMC to turn one of their old dueling wooden coasters into an amazing hybrid, and it would go to Six Flags Magic Mountain and be named Twisted Colossus. From this coaster's amazing airtime to its fantastic inversions and its awesome dueling interaction, everybody seems to love this coaster. And since RMC has changed and innovated so much since 2015, you can only imagine how amazing they would make the racer. When Cedar Fair started working with RMC in 2018, with the additions of Twisted Timbers and Steel Vengeance, that opened up a brand new light for the racer as well as many other Cedar Fair wooden coasters. However, that light did not last for very long as they have not added an RMC to any one of their parks since. However, I find it unlikely that Cedar Fair and RMC have cut all ties. First of all, RMCs are very cheap, with most of their hybrid coasters costing no more than $12 million, and their single rail coasters, which which can either be cloned or made originally, seem to boost attendance a lot, are very marketable, and are very cheap as well. But going back to the racer, many people, including myself, think that racer's layout would be a little bit awkward to RMC because it's just straight out and back, and RMC wouldn't be able to do all of the amazing things that they usually do. However, I'm sure that they would still make something work. However, one of the main reasons I don't see this happening is because of other RMCs in the area. First of all, you have Storm Chaser, which is just two hours south at Kentucky Kingdom. Then you have Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point, which is just about four hours north. And then you have Lightning Rod at Dollywood, which is just five hours south. And if you want to drive a little bit further, about five and a half hours away, you have Goliath at Six Flags Great America. So yeah, there is some very strong competition. How However, I'm sure that since it is a dueling coaster, Kings Island would certainly market it as one, and it would be a completely unique experience, at least to the general public. So I have come up with two reasons, one for why Kings Island will RMC the racer, and the other for why Kings Island won't. Let's go first with the one why Kings Island won't. First of all, Kings Island really seems to like the racer. They have been progressively retracking it a lot recently. However, they've only been doing that on the turnaround, which is the slowest part of the ride where it didn't even need it, but moving on. Despite most people not enjoying riding the racer, they still appreciate that it's there. For some reason, it just kind of sits there as some historical timepiece that escaped from the 70s. That's really hard to explain, and I hope that makes sense. And my final reason is because of this coaster's historical significance. It was one of the leaders in the modern-day wooden coaster renaissance. Back in the early 1900s, Hundreds, wooden coasters were booming, and they seemed to be popping up everywhere, until World War II, and they stopped for obvious reasons. However, they didn't really seem to pick up much after that, until the racer opened 
1972, and then everything just kind of resumed like it wasn't sitting dormant for 30 years. Now let's move on to where I explain why King's Island will RMC the racer. Every RMC that has been installed across the world seems to have made a great impact on their park, and in the best of ways. Everybody seems to love them. Ever since Vortex's departure, Coney Mall has been missing a true standout attraction. They were left with a few small family rides, Windseeker, and this, so I think turning this into an RMC could be amazing for that area, as it is the only area in the park that doesn't have an amazing coaster. Action Zone with Banshee, River Town with Mystic Timbers, Beast, and Diamondback, and Area 72 with Orion. And here is my final and biggest reason. It would be so incredibly unique to the park. Yes, they have a hybrid coaster with Adventure Express, and yes, they have a coaster that focuses on quick pops of ejector airtime with Mystic Timbers. However, an RMC hybrid would be so different. And just think about this for a sec. Out of the 3.5 million people who visit KI each year, how many of them do you think have actually ridden another RMC? Probably a very slim amount. So to the majority of park guests, this would be a completely unique experience. Now is the time of the video where I give my honest opinion on whether Kings Island will RMC the racer, and unfortunately, I don't think Kings Island will. This coaster just has way too much history behind it, and even though many people dislike it, they still appreciate appreciate it as a great classic. What do you think Kings Island will do with this coaster? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time on Hang Time Thrills.